Oh my gosh, so this happened so much. Like right after I finished that video, then my daughter sent me this message and, um, oh, which by the way, I all of a sudden had a coughing attack right when that one was ending. And it was all of a sudden like I was choking. I was coughing for a few minutes. Like tears were pouring down my face. I have no idea where that came from. It's just all of a sudden like, ah, cough attack. Um, but anyway, so she had sent me this message and it had a TikTok. And she's like, she sent it to me. Um, and what she had said, I didn't really understand. So I'm like, what are you? I don't understand. Like, what is this TikTok? And um, it shows this couple you would think it's a couple very snuggly you know very flirty on top of each other you know the girl's trying to uh, spit water out of her cup into the guy's mouth and she's hanging on him and you know climbing all over him and stuff like that and um my daughter's like well, what do you think when you see that and i said you know like a couple and she said yeah, this is a trend on TikTok right now and she says very weird because there are all these girls trying to show how close their best friend is with their spouse or boyfriend and the picture she showed me you know it was definitely uh you know one girl was super attractive and it just so happened to be the girl who is being you know uh very flirty with the boyfriend or husband or whatever and she sent me some other ones and she because I was like weird like why would she you know can't she see what's going on and she goes and my daughter's like I don't understand how can they not see like it's so clear isn't it and I'm like yeah it's very clear but yeah and I and she sent me some more and apparently these girls I think are more defensive like you guys just don't understand their relationship you know they're close and it's like well other people can see it you just can't see it and that's what i was talking about earlier people can't see stuff uh, you know they have to go through it they can't see it so who knows what some of these i mean i would feel like the third wheel if i saw some of these people <laughs> like if i was with my boyfriend and my best friend and this was how close they were I would feel like the third wheel like where's your boundaries where is your um standard is this okay you know you want your your uh, best friend and your boyfriend or husband to be so playful for each other they're on the ground wrestling like I don't know when I've been with a guy you know and we're on the ground wrestling it's a lot more sexual tension you know than you know, I, I'm not sure like what, how these girls resolve this in their mind to think that this is acceptable, even to become defensive about it. If people say it's not, you know, like, you know, I wouldn't do that. I mean, girl, can't you see, like, you can see the, the sexual tension <laughs> between these two people. And, um, you know, I'm sure each of the situations will turn out, you know, different because each person is there to learn different things from each other. But see, people are being able to see through things. Things are becoming transparent. And when you do see through things, you can't really help anybody else. Because like those people, they just become defensive. No, you're not seeing it. You know, you're not seeing this beauty in this relationship. <laughs> you know, it's like, no, if I'm in a, if I'm in an intimate relationship with somebody, I want it to be special between us. I don't want it to be, you know, with, um, you know, I'm going to watch him be playful with my best friend. Like, that just is not something I'm looking for. <laughs> like, I want more of a close, intimate relationship where you have, you know, somebody you are, you have something special, you know, something that you don't have with other people. I don't want to watch them have it with somebody else. Like, I don't know. But everybody has to learn their own stuff. And some of the things are just so crystal clear. And some people are piling more problems onto their problems because they can't see. They are just living off of autopilot and being reactive. And they're not really present in their own life. And, you know, so much of this stuff is learning how to be present in your own life. 
and to detach from this weird world that we're living in. And when I was talking to my daughter, I got to have a couple more conversations about, um, you know, the programming and what's in our shows and stuff like that. And so I got an opportunity to say a few things that she didn't know, especially because I've been watching these old ones because she brought up, oh, she had brought it up that um, when you watch something that's like 20 years old and she said it is so weird, like some of the stuff they'll say, but she was really kind of dumbfounded that she was watching a show 20 years ago and it had a trans person just playing a trans person. And she's like, like, that seems weird. I thought that that, I mean, they made a big deal about that, like in the last few years, like, you know, how it was like oh, overcoming huge barriers by putting these people in movies or something, which I don't know. I've got so many things about the people playing their own parts and stuff like that. Like why do they get women who are supposed to be super beautiful to go and play parts of somebody who isn't like, I don't get that whole thing. You have so many character actors out there who are there to play different characters and stuff. Like if you are a leading lady, like what, even if the leading lady in the movie is somebody who's not attractive, there's so many character actresses out there who would love to have a part like that. I, I, I just don't understand I mean, I get it on some level because it's all about programming. But, yeah, I mean, all of this stuff with the trans thing and, you know, a trans person should be playing a trans person. Like, a, a black person should be playing a black person. A Chinese person should be playing a Chinese person. A man should be playing a man. A woman should be, play, like, I, I don't know. They just want to fuck with our heads all the time. And, um... But she was saying, you know, uh, she even tried to watch the old SVU and she said that there was um, a crime that happened and it has something with a trans person in the way that the cops talked. She was just like, oh, my God, I can't believe they're saying that. And I said, well, I've been watching some older stuff like go in and watch that with the program and stuff. And I brought up about the suicide thing, you know, and they just I, I said the whole thing that I had talked about, you know, and they're randomly just putting suicide in a movie for no reason. Like why, what was that all about? Why would you just suddenly have that? And it just clicked in my mind. Oh, is it programming? Because then they know if they just have all of the suicide that it's going to increase suicide, which it does. And she said, Oh, that's a real thing. It's called, um, Oh, she just told me what it's called. Um, cause you could look it up. It's, um, conscious wheel or something I can't remember you can look it up but they're not even supposed to talk about suicide on the news and she said one of her friends who watches the news she's constantly going and writing letters to the news stations and saying you've got to stop saying this you can't talk about you know this kid who just killed themselves on the news because it sets a trend it makes more of them start doing it see they know they know this stuff they, it's in, uh, they put it into our programming to create these imbalances. And that's what people just don't see. So when I was talking to her and we were having a conversation going back, I was saying, like, go back even further. Like, I've been watching a lot of old stuff and you start seeing the trends. You start seeing how the people are reacting to the programming. Like, you can see it if you go back and watch old programs and see, like, how um, the collective was being affected. And just like, you know, when they put a bunch of suicide, you know, it was going to be more suicide. So we are all a social experiment. We are all a biological experiment. I mean, the bio warfare. Oh, yeah. And that was called um, nano. Uh, I, I thought of it after I had hung or after I'd stopped earlier. Uh, nanotechnology. That's what it is. And at the end of that drug thing and it was the drops for the eyes um sustain 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 or something like that and it says um with a uh, new nanotechnology why would i need nanotechnology in my eye drops hmm and would this be for me or for some other agenda you know let's think about it why i mean <laughs> 
we we have seen enough doctors now who are taking these nanoparticles and looking at this stuff under microscopes and disclosing and whistleblowing on what's going on, you know, and they're being shut down. Like if you haven't seen them, the information's out there. You just got to keep looking because they are disclosing what's in there. That's how I found out about the having that black stuff that that lady found in her vitamins, that goo. It reminds me of a scary movie from the 60s. Like in a way it comes together with the magnet and frequency makes it move. Like, this is creepy shit. Yeah, I don't want that in my eyes. And now I have these things in my eyes. Like the other day after I had come to that realization, I was like, fuck, I got to keep the magnets away from my eyes. Like there's something weird. And like I've said, the, with this artificial light that they put out, which I noticed another thing yesterday when it seemed like it was the real sun came out. And it was a different color. It was up way higher in the sky. It was like really over the house. And my plants are suffering. I know that this other thing is not a real light. I don't know. I mean, it's a light, but it's not a natural light. And it's not helping the plants. Even these plant lights. Um, I mean, they're helping them some. But my plants are really struggling. But yesterday, to me, it was so clear that that was a different light coming in. Plus, I could look at it. When that other one comes into my window, I won't even look. And it is like it's like lasering my eyes. I'll start not being able to see in the house just from the side view of that light hitting into my eyes. And I could look up out the window and stare at this other light, the one that when it's orange and it looks you know, what I've always thought the sun to be. And, um, and way up higher in the trees, the whole thing. So I don't know. I, I just don't know what's going on with, <laughs> with this weird world. Like how can they switch the sun going back and forth? Like what the hell? Like some of this stuff is so, it sounds so far-fetched and unrealistic, but we're living it. And even if you know, if somebody would have told us in 2010 or, you know, even when I was born, like what was going to happen in the future, you wouldn't be able to wrap your head around it. You'd think, oh, no, that's not going to happen. That's crazy. And, um, you know, never would we have thought, you know, people would have these on and be scared of each other. And, you know, I, I mean, the stuff that's happening, there's no way anybody could have ever predicted it. Because you couldn't have seen it coming. Because who would think everybody would do this? I, I sure didn't. All it done has done to me is just show me really how uh, asleep people are. How they're really not uh, present in their life. Like that to me has become so clear. And um, but yeah, if you go back and you start looking into the old shows and really no noticing the programming. And I was trying to pull her into the current programming you know, of what they're programming, you know, like wrapping up the fresh, like that commercial now that they are presenting it and it's all wrapped up just like it's from a store with a little tag on it. It says fresh, you know, and part of that is disclosure because they are giving us, I mean, we are living in a soylent green world. They are definitely feeding us human. They have been for a long time and you know, that's going to really fuck with some people's heads. But, I mean, they want us to accept it for multiple reasons. I mean, there's no accident that we have all of these cannibal shows going. And it's all like, um, what was the one with Drew Barrymore? And that guy on Netflix, you know, and she becomes a zombie and he has to keep feeding her flesh to keep her alive. Keep her feeding her people, you know. They, and it just seems like, oh, that's a funny little show. No, it's programming to get you to accept things, to see like, oh, well, there's a moral issue. You know, yeah, if, if my wife was a zombie, I would go kill people and feed them to her. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it's to reprogram and program our heads. Right now, they got people's heads just spinning. That people don't even know anymore, like, who they are. What's, what, what's it all mean? What's, what's everything about? Like, people are just in such a state of confusion. But... You know, it, the more you notice, the more you can see through it, you know, and you just 
you got to keep looking at everything as like it's all based on lies and illusion and it's all to try and keep you trapped to keep you small so that you are hopeless and helpless and desperate for drugs that we spend our time being um divided fighting over things that don't matter because you know that's what they want us they don't want us to be united they don't want us to come together they don't want us to know our own power that is up to each of us to hear the internal message the internal dialogue of connection of unity of um self pre pre preserve preservation i think would be the word but um you know, it's, it's all of us are the ones that have to make the change, you know, and uh, <laughs> those of us who can see what needs to be done, we can only do so much, you know, everybody has to wake up to the truth in their own time. And I apparently have to learn more about patience. So <laughs> I'm going to go work on my patience and see why Stella's barking her head off. I'll talk to you later. Bye.